your reward. You will need this grain. Use it wisely. The years have treated you well, Master Builder. But will your future be as fortunate as your past? Let us see. The grain of Egypt is the blood of this land. Uh, often the grain has been watered with human blood. <laughs> there was a time when the life of the Pharaoh was presented to us, the gods of Egypt, as a gift. The Divine Man was killed with a cobra. His blood was used to water the earth. All of Egypt believed this pleased us. It was long ago. Now our people hold a ceremony with a cobra made of gold. This serpent's bite is a harmless trick. But beware the serpent, not made of gold. Make certain that the blocks move aloft quickly enough. Remember, the pyramid must be finished in the Pharaoh's lifetime. Let me give you some advice. You need a sled to carry the stone blocks up the ramp. Why don't you look around for some construction materials? You know, wood boards and rope and things like that. Thanks for showing us how to build that sled. Now the workers can build more and use them to drag the stones up the ramp. And if a sled breaks down, we'll know how to fix it. run out of water. 
You need to find more water close by or the work will slow down to a snail's pace. Don't bother trying to bring buckets of water from the Nile, Master Builder. That would take far too long. Go no further! Only the royal family and their guests may visit Venomar's sacred lake. You're Dendara's friend, aren't you? Did you hear the news? The Pharaoh's headdress for the coronation ceremony is missing. Venomar, the regent, has commissioned some artisans she knows to construct a new headdress. I wonder if it will be as beautiful as the old one was. Ah, a tusk carving. I will see to it that Dendara gets your message right away. She'll meet you at Venomar's sacred lake. Go no further! Only the royal family and their guests may visit Venomar's sacred lake. Stand aside and let us pass, you oaf. I am Dendara, sister to the pharaoh. The builder is my honored guest. Oh. <laughs> the lake is just a few steps further. I've always been curious about this place.
that is a royal headdress. The cobra at the front signifies divinity. What is it doing here? What have you done to my lake? This place is sacred to the god Seth. How dare you divert his waters? So you pay homage to Seth? The traitor god who murdered his brother Osiris? He saw a royal headdress at the lake bottom. Surely that didn't belong to Seth. I wonder how it came to be there. Uh, I see nothing on this lake bottom but mud. You will suffer for this impertinence, Builder. We are enemies now, now and forever! <sighs> Let's go, before that crocodile regains his appetite. Out of oil? It took dozens of balsam trees to make the oil you've used already. I'm afraid the men have broken that sled. But it won't be a problem if you send a man up to fix it with some wood. I'm afraid the men have broken that sled, but it won't be a problem if you send a man up to fix it with some wood.
I'm afraid the men have broken that sled. But it won't be a problem if you send a man up to fix it with some wood. I'm afraid the men have broken that sled, but it won't be a problem if you send a man up to fix it with some wood. going on up there is a failure to communicate. When there are too many men pulling the same sled, they start to argue. Tell a few men to leave that sled, Master Builder. I'm afraid the men have broken that sled, but it won't be a problem if you send a man up to fix it with some wood. I'm afraid the men have broken that sled, but it won't be a problem if you send a man up to fix it with some wood. I'm afraid the men have broken that sled, but it won't be a problem if you send a man up to fix it with some wood.
This job is well underway. You have made it through one quarter of the work, Master Builder. I'm afraid the men have broken that sled, but it won't be a problem if you send a man up to fix it with some wood. I'm afraid the men have broken that sled, but it won't be a problem if you send a man up to fix it with some wood. So far, so good. This work is halfway done. I'm afraid the men have broken that sled, but it won't be a problem if you send a man up to fix it with some wood. I'm afraid the men have broken that sled, but it won't be a problem if you send a man up to fix it with some wood. I'm afraid the men have broken that sled, but it won't be a problem if you send a man up to fix it with some wood. What's going on up there is a failure to communicate. When there are too many men pulling the same sled, they start to argue. Tell a few men to leave that sled, Master Builder. You certainly are determined, Master Builder. Keep working. You are already three quarters of the way finished. I'm afraid the men have broken that sled, but it won't be a problem if you send a man up to fix it with some wood. Drag all the stones up the ramps and make the pyramid touch the sky. Gangs of workers have hauled their heavy blocks up the ramps to have kept the men together and smoothed their way. The pyramid grows, 
stone upon stone, layer upon layer, gather your scroll and continue your quest.